Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amber, and this is a space where I talk about all things motherhood. All right, guys, so before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you won't miss another notification from me. Also, this is the last chance for you guys to enter my $50 Cash App giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, go ahead and leave your Cash App name down below, and follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, so let's hop straight into it. By the title, I already know why you're here. You're trying to figure out how to increase your breast milk or how to just maintain it, and I have five tips that are gonna help you. All right, guys, small disclaimer, I'm just telling you the five things that worked for me. I know every mom is not the same. Everyone is different, every body is different. I am just trying to give you those tips that work for me, and I hope they help. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory so you don't think that I'm just some magical milk cow just around here just making milk because that's what I do. Making breast milk is work. It is hard work. So with my first time Maverick, I found it extremely easy. I was pumping. I was able to get a ton of milk and save up a stash to feed him at least for four months minimum within a maybe one to two month time frame. With my youngest, it was not so simple. When I first started, I was only pumping maybe four ounces. I was really, really struggling in the beginning and I was really wondering like, is this gonna work? I thought that it would be just as easy because I did it the first time so easily that the second time would be a breeze and my body would know what to do. But that is not the case. So what I did was I sat back, I thought about the things that I did. I was like, okay, why is this so different from the first time? And these are the five things that I came up with. Tip number one, drink water. I know that this sounds so simple, so just like, well, okay, everyone knows that. But I can guarantee you with my first, I had enough time to drink water. I made sure that I drank 64 ounces a day. I bought a water bottle from Target that was 64 ounces just for the purposes of making sure that I completed one to two of these every day. My goal was really a gallon, but 64 ounces was my minimum. So like I said, for my first one, it was really easy and all I did was drink water. But for my second, since it was so hard, what I did was not only was I drinking more than 64 Four ounces of water a day. I also added in a body armor or you can add in a Gatorade, whichever you prefer. I noticed that when I started doing that and combining these two, the water and the body armor or the Gatorade, whichever you prefer, I noticed that my milk supply doubled. It was probably because I was super dehydrated if you wanna be completely honest because I'm chasing around an older toddler, which is kinda of hard sometimes with a newer baby. So I'm forgetting to even feed myself, shower, and do the simple things. But in order to make sure that you maintain making an adequate amount of milk you have to drink water and make sure that you're replacing those electrolytes I'm telling you if you do that it will be a game changer so if you're like me and it's easy for you like leave water bottles everywhere that's what I do and it reminds me to drink or if you just want to carry around a cool tub or a cool cup I mean whatever you got to do you have to get that water in and don't forget those electrolytes You'll thank me later. All right, tip number two, make sure you're eating. Make sure you're eating a diet that is high in protein with some moderate carbs. I definitely, definitely noticed between my first and my second how much time that I didn't have. With my first son, he was so regimented and on schedule. It was super easy for me to eat. I ate when he slept, I had time. Now I have two little ones and let me tell you something. If one sleeps, the other one is awake. I cannot seem to get these boys in sync with their sleeping and it's trash. With that being said, please make sure you eat nuts. I mean, if you can just like grow yourself some chicken, that works, eggs, just anything that you can put in your hand because I know it's super hard, but anything high in protein is great. You can also get like little pita bites. Sometimes I just throw them in the oven and take them out with a little hummus. That's great for my carb intake to keep my carbs and my calories up so that way I can make sure that I'm still pumping enough milk. Cause you really have to think about it. You're feeding another body. If you're not feeding yourself, how can you feed another body? It just won't work. You're gonna be depleting yourself of everything and you'll have nothing more to give. So please make sure you're eating. I know it's hard, but please make sure you eat. Okay, so the third tip that I'm gonna give is pumping. So this is gonna be kind of controversial. I know that I didn't do this the normal way, but I did it my way and it worked for me. So like I told you guys with my first, it was super, super easy for me to build this huge milk supply. So what I did was when he was about two weeks, he would feed, I would feed him a full feeding from both breasts. Then I would pump right after he was done feeding. I know it's a lot, but within a week of just doing that, my body was pumping way more than it needed. So I was able to store all of this milk very, very quickly and very, very fast. I was able to pump at least 10 ounces after every feed once I got this method down and it only took me a week. That's why I was able to store this huge, huge stash of milk. 
now with my second unfortunately like i told you guys before it was not as easy so what i ended up doing with him was power pumping so power pumping is basically when you're tricking your breast and your body into thinking that your baby is feeding a lot more than they normally do so i will leave a little power pumping schedule right here so basically what you do is you get your breast pump you turn it to high i know my boobs already hurt just thinking about it <laughs> so you turn it to high you pump for 10 minutes you relax for 10 minutes you pump for 10 minutes, you relax for 10 minutes. Then you pump again for another 10 minutes, you relax for 10 minutes, and then you pump for 20 minutes. So this is gonna trick your body into thinking that, okay, I need more milk. My baby needs a lot of milk, my baby's in a growth spurt. So it'll trick your body and you'll make all this milk. Now, in order to maintain that milk, what you have to do is start pumping frequently. You don't have to power pump, but pumping more frequently, especially after building up the supply, is going to ensure that you keep the same supply. Also, do not be discouraged if you power pump and it doesn't work that same day. Sometimes it takes a few days in addition with the power pumping also make sure that you're eating right and you're drinking a lot of water and fluids and replacing those electrolytes because if you're not doing all three things in harmony then this probably won't work to be completely honest tip four is to drink water but there is a very specific time when you should be drinking water if you're having problems with milk supply if you drink it while you're breastfeeding like as soon as the baby latches you start gulping water your letdown will be a lot stronger so there's more milk produced i find that when i drink water water as soon as I start feeding especially if I haven't been drinking water like I'm supposed to i.e you know that half a gallon to gallon throughout the day if I start chugging it while I'm breastfeeding my letdown will be a lot heavier so my baby will be fuller but that's also a reminder to me that hey I probably need to be drinking more water so that way I don't have to chug when the baby's eating so he can get a full meal but also you should use this as a reminder that you need to be drinking more water you know that half gallon or full gallon throughout the day so that way you're not waiting to the last minute to feed your baby and that way your breasts are already filling also if i were you i would leave a bottle of water by the bed so that way during those middle of the night feeds you're still making enough milk so he's full because i notice sometimes in the middle of the night sometimes i feel like i make a lot of milk other times i'm like oh am i making enough milk because you know the more milk he has the better your baby will sleep so make sure that you're drinking enough water to help you with making more milk during those letdown times. So tip number five, make sure you have the correct flange size if you plan on pumping. If you don't have the right flange size, you are going to find yourself hitting a lot of roadblocks with pumping. So with my first baby, I was a 24, 21. It kind of depended on where I was during the day. So knowing that information ensured that I was going to make the most milk that I could while pumping. The flange ensures that it cups your brush just right and cups that nipple just right. It makes sure that it's pulling the correct amount of milk, it's not too big to where there's not enough suction or too small where it's blocking off your ducts. So you want to make sure that you have the correct flange size. Also, I read somewhere that you should put coconut oil in your flanges. I don't know if I agree with that because I've done that before and I felt like my nipples were just sliding and there wasn't enough friction on the flange to pull all the milk out. That's my personal opinion. If you need it for comfort, then by all means. But if you don't and you can just bear it, I wouldn't use the coconut oil in the flange. That's just my personal opinion. And for my last and final tip, I threw this in for free. Just try and relax. I know that that is a lot harder said than done, especially when you're stressing about feeding your baby, but being tense and being on guard and just not relaxed is not gonna help you produce milk. If anything, it's gonna cause you more tension and more stress and it'll probably decrease your milk supply. So please try and relax, mama. You can do it, your boobies work. They're going to make that milk. Try and use these steps that I've given you. Also, there are so many free programs out there to help you. I found mine on the La Leche League. I will be sure to leave their link in the description below, but they have so many great resources, so many people you can see, and they're usually free. So guys, I hope this video was super helpful for you. I hope you really learned something and I hope it really helps you while trying to produce more milk for your baby. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram because I love to talk to you guys there and I interact there a lot daily maybe even hourly. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.